effective tax rates. This I always like to show people because when you, this is different incomes. The first one, I don't know if you all can see it clearly, but the first one is less than $10,000, they basically get money back. Next one is 10,000 to 20,000, still get money back net on their taxes. 20 to 30,000, still get money back. Just less than 50% of the people paid zero in tax, zero. That's part of the problem in our country too, that we have less than 50% paying zero in tax. It's not sustainable. So we're spending more than we take in, we're charging less to make it more balanced. These are the decisions our elected officials should be talking about. I'm not giving you the answer to each one. I'm just telling you, we should be having a robust discussion on each one of these slides. How are we going to address this? Is it fair that less than 50% of people are paying zero in tax? Is that fair for our country? And can we afford it? We need to do that. We have to remember, some of those people that want everything for nothing don't have the ability to run those numbers. But I, since I'm running for office, I'm going in the communities, and even in some of those communities, they're saying to me, Ernie, our government's destroying our kids because they're giving them too much and taking away an incentive for them to get jobs and do other things. So, Social Security. All the people will say that, yeah, I'm going to sign an agreement, I'm not going to touch it. I actually consider this to be a pretty easy fix to fix Social Security. You can raise the taxable wage pace gap a little bit. You can gradually raise the retirement eligibility age. You can revise the benefit structure based on income. So if you're incredibly wealthy, you don't need to collect Social Security. So maybe you can factor something in there that's based upon your income. And, and have supplemental retirement savings account. I believe people should take care of themselves and provide for their own retirement too. Medicare, Medicaid, same type of thing. This one I can tell you of all. If we can't fix Social Security, we'll never fix Medicaid. And they're struggling fixing Social Security. This is the biggest driver killing our budget right now, is Medicare. The employer takes a deduction for the health care, but the employee doesn't have to pick it up as income. That's what we're talking about here. So that lost tax revenue on not picking it up as income or not giving the employer a deduction, you know, because if you don't give the employer a deduction, the corporate taxes will go up. If you make the employee pay taxes on it, their income tax will go up. That's what we're talking about. Just that one thing alone, allowing people across the country they have health care, not get picked up on the W-2 as income, or not allowing the company to get a deduction, cost our government about $650 billion. That one item. I don't know how many people would say, I want my health care to be taxable from now on. But again, policy decision. If we're in the hole this year, about $1.3 trillion. In one year alone, we're overspending our budget by $1.3 trillion. You can make up almost half of that, half of that if you change your concept on this. If you're an example, you're a sergeant in the police department, you were a sergeant when you retired. Your retirement, you should not get, be getting paid more than a sergeant working in the street today. But we have almost everyone getting paid double what the police officer today is. It doesn't make any sense. But um, you know, try to take that stuff away and they pick it outside when I speak. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you ought to see when they t I testify, they all line up after me and chop my head off. <laughs> I told my wife, if I got in an accident, drag me over the line to the next town. I don't want to get picked up by this police department or this fire department. <laughs> <laughs> ask them, what is the assumed rate of return you have on your pension? I guarantee you, you all know you have a pension plan. I guarantee when you ask that question, you may fall out of your chair when you find out what the answer is. It is like eight and a half, eight and a quarter, eight percent. And when I tell them the number probably should be more like four and a half, they're like, no way. But think about what happens. If you reduce that number from eight and a half to four and a half, the annual required contribution goes up. That's more money they have to pay out of their budget, which means less services they can provide today, which means either layoffs, reduce pick, you know, reduce police, reduce fire, reduce teachers, all these other things. Whatever the number is, I mean, I, I certainly don't agree with this magical number, 250,000 or whatever it is, because I don't know, rich. I, I, myself, I don't think that's rich. <laughs> but um, but I did when I was 18, but now I don't. <laughs> Before, <you had> <laughs> Before I made money. But um, 